Yeah, Zach Smith was just a maintenance day today. Um, he's fully ready to play uh, on Wednesday, but we, he's just dealing with a couple of issues that require just some time. And uh, so uh, he had yesterday off, and we thought it would be really beneficial for him uh, to have today off as well. Uh, uh, Colin White, uh, again, he's not skating today. He won't skate again tomorrow. Uh, I think they'll reassess him on uh on Tuesday, he and Shabbat, and they'll see where they're at. Uh, we're not expecting anything um, this week, and if we get surprised, uh, that'll be a good thing. Yes, both of those guys will be staying here. Well, I think he's scrambling a lot better in the defensive zone, so. You know, I think that's when you scramble in the defensive zone, usually it means you have great instincts and uh, uh, that you know, you're a good skater and you, um, you can find a way to battle through things. Now, ultimately, when he's not scrambling is when he'll be uh, at his best as a defenseman. Um, his father was a, an excellent defenseman. His father had outstanding read of the play. And... Um, you know, I've told, talked to Christian about this uh, on a number of occasions uh, since he's been here. You know, when he gets to be where he reads the play the way that his dad uh, reads the play, then he's going to be an excellent uh, defenseman in the league. Uh, offensively, we have no issues with uh, Christian at all. He joins the rush. His skating is uh, very good. He walks the blue line, um, and he has really good control of his vision in the offensive zone. Obviously, you know, he probably can, can get a little bit stronger shot uh, and pick up a few elements offensively, but he, he he's well on his way as a, a very good offensive defenseman. But the read of the play, um, that's a big thing for anybody. You know, any player that, uh, that we're looking at in terms of development, usually you want to see what they do without the puck and how they play without the puck. Um, and, and again, that's where the learning curve is uh, for, uh, for Christian. You've got the big win Saturday. Um, you want to carry it over, but do you want to also like, reset, like reset? Re yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we do the same things uh, on losses, too. It's always the, it's always the way. You, your response to any game is always the same. You find improvements. It's harder to find improvements when you've played well. Um, it's easier to find improvements when you've played really poorly. Uh, so for us, uh, again, I'm trying to find that measure of consistent effort. I thought uh, effort-wise, um, that was as good a game as we've played all year. We supported the puck in all areas, uh, and uh, it showed. You know, we were first on the puck an awful lot. Uh, we had two to two to one on a lot of the battles. And when you're supporting, that's oftentimes what's happening, both offensively and defensively. And uh, you know, we want to continue uh, to have that be a big part of, of what our uh, team is about. So we're looking uh, uh, to, to build on that really good victory against Toronto. Uh, obviously, the, this road trip is a challenging one. It's always tough to play the Western teams. and. Um, you know, it's good that we get to go a day early to uh, get ourselves uh, somewhat acclimatized to the time change. Uh, well, we're going to try and win in Vancouver for sure, and, and we don't want to look anything past that, really. Uh, I, again, we're, we're, we're about culture right now, and culture is, in professional sports, worry about your game. Uh, big picture things get thought about you know, by people in position to think about big picture things. So, you know, Pierre and Peter McTavish and uh, all the people in our front office, obviously coaches have to look a little bit big picture, but not very much. And for our players, we want them engaged in, in each and every game and do what they can to get the most of themselves in the, in, in the upcoming game. That's the one that matters. It's the only one that you can win. And um, right now, uh, again, at the end of this year, we want to keep investing on uh, on the way we do things, keep investing uh, on the right way uh, to approach uh, the game as an individual. 
and that carries through for everybody um, in our group down there, both the players and the coaches. So uh, we'll all keep that focus. We're going to focus on uh, on Vancouver, and then we'll worry about the uh, the challenges of the Tuchuk brothers playing against each other in Calgary, and uh, what it's going to be like to play a Saturday afternoon game and, and play against uh, again those superstars uh, that are in Edmonton. He's brought a lot. Um, you know his his ability to be versatile. First and foremost, you know he's played left wing, right wing, and center. Um, he's uh, at some nights he's been put up on what you would consider our uh, most offensive lines, and at some nights he's played uh, as a, a, a really good complementary player uh, on a line that we're just trying to get through the game with. And um, uh, he's responded well wherever we've put him. Uh, he understands the game uh, really well, and uh, uh, his. Uh, Determination, his positional play, uh, his puck battles have been outstanding, and he's he's gotten a lot of uh, uh, of notoriety from it. He's gotten a lot of notice, um, both in our room and in our organization, with how he's played. So he's really serving himself well right now, uh, while he's helping the team. So we've been very pleased with Brian. Uh, you know, guys are getting to know him even more now. You see the kibitzing that's happening in and around the room. Uh, the Boston guys, especially, uh, you know, are, are are pretty vocal with him. So it's nice to see that uh, uh, some chemistry is being built uh, amongst uh, our group with some of these new guys. It takes a long time for any new player to come into a team and and feel 100% comfortable. But these guys have come in and. It's almost like they haven't missed a beat. So maybe there's a formula to that. You know, maybe because we're not in a playoff race, it's easier for them uh, to come in and, and find a place. Um, uh, I don't know that for sure, but it's just an observation. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Lindbergh's uh, he, he scored four goals already, and uh, you know we had him playing uh, against Austin Matthews the whole game last game. So. Uh, he's accepted any challenge that we've given to him. Some nights, you know, he he hasn't played uh, big minutes, but when he when he has been asked to play, you know, 15, 16 minutes, he's he's really looked good. And we had him kill penalties last game, which is the first we've seen of that. Uh, so you know, you keep adding a dimension to your game. That's always positive uh, for any player. Good. All right, we'll Thanks, around. guys.